Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Priscilla. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. So in this video, we're going to be continuing with our lab setup for our SCCM installation. And this is gonna be a quick video. What we're gonna be doing is installing the SCCM roles and features. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's gonna be really cool. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. Thanks. All right, so we're in our SCCM server. We're gonna to go to, to manage, add roles and features. We're going to go ahead and click next, next, next. Okay, so we're going to select web server IIS on this one. Add features. Um, next. And then we're going to select the .NET Framework 3.5 features. Let's um, drop that down. We'll select those two as well. So we're going to add that feature, non-HTTP, HTTP activation as well. We're going to do, um, which other ones are we going to do? WCF services. We're going to select all of those, well, HTTP activation, add features. Uh, message queuing, add features, named pipe activation, and TCP activation. So we have that. Then we're going to select background intelligence uh, transfer service. Um, and then we're going to select, uh, which is the one? Remote differential compression. Um, and we're going to click next. We're going to do web serve next. Okay. Mm, we're going to select um, is that application development. So let me just go ahead and find it. Okay. So we're going to do Windows authentication. We're going to do application development. We're going to do the ASP.NET 3.5 just down there at the bottom. So let me go ahead and I'll go ahead and select it. Um, whoops, I'm ready. Now let's go back down to application development. And then I'm going to select ASP.NET 3.5, which is right there. So let's go ahead and select it. And then we're going to do, I have one other one that we're going to do. So once I finish looking at that one, we're going to do OIIS6 management compatibility. Whoops, I'm ready. So go down. Uh, um, sorry. Okay, so IIS management compatibility. We'll select the IIS scripting tools. Oh, so all the sub features on that one. We're going to do next, and then we're just going to select that one to restart it if it needs to, and then we're going to install it. And I'm just going to fast forward through this. We begin editing. Um, and we're just going to wait for that to finish. So that's done. I'm going to close out of it. All right, so yeah, we're done um, doing the SCCM, role, adding the roles and features for our SCCM server. Um, in the next video, we're going to be installing Windows ADK. Uh, it's going to be a quick video, but I still wanted to show you guys how to do it. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, but thanks again for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to let me know. If you want to go ahead and like and subscribe, that'd be cool too. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, thanks. Uh, have a good one. Bye.